finding Kula. It took just a little bit too long then. Cascarino, now the, uh, the danger with Chris Price coming into a centre forward position, but calm and collected as ever, Stash. And off again goes Mechash. Well, he's had one shot, and now he's rolling the ball through. Oh, a cracking goal as well, and it's scored by Hilek. And that is a body blow to Aston Villa. But the threat had been there. Delight then for the Czechoslovakian bench. And that really is a bit of a calamity for Aston Villa. There's a strong run made by Nechash, threading the ball through there, but didn't he take it well? Straight across Nigel Spink, and an excellent strike by Hilek. And Balik Ostrava have a priceless lead here. Beautifully struck. Aston Villa nil, Balik Ostrava one. And that is a telling blow to Villa's aspirations in Europe. And Hilek gets the first goal at a very good time indeed, just when Villa had come back at Manik. Villa need to reply sharply, and they do! David Blatt's the man. He does have a knack of being in the right place at the right time. Those fans appreciating David Platt's fifth goal in successive games, coming only a minute after Bannock's leading goal. The ball coming to him in a perfect position, and you don't stop those, no matter who you are. An element of fortune as the ball came back to him in the penalty area, but he was there again in the right place. Sliced up in the air. And thank you very much, says David Platt. Daly again, taking it from all his touch. McGrath, Price stayed out wide on the touch line as Platt gets into the penalty area once more. Tries to tee them up here, and it's a goal! It's 2 1 and it's Mountfield. Chris Price getting in, beautifully worked move with David Platt at the heart of it. Now watch the movement here off the ball, excellent. Price the little touch on, and Derek Mountfield sweeps it into the Bannock net, and Villa have the lead. Beautifully done, with Daly first, then Price here, Platt and Mountfield all involved, and Villa have the lead for the first time. Wins his man, and is then brought down for his pains by Kula. For his audacity, you might say, going on the outside of him. Kula, who made some good forward runs in the first half, has been forced back into an almost right-back position in the second half. And he's finding Orman rather helpful. The substitute is now up there in the penalty area, along with the keeper, and it's goal number three from Ian Olney. A beautifully flighted free kick, and all his head did the rest. A triumphant return to Europe then for Aston Villa at 3-1. It looks so much sweeter. And those fans are dreaming of great days again. It's the perfect free kick. Only timed his run to equal perfection and the keeper in no man's land well beaten.